Hey, I'm Andre and I'm learning game development from zero by trying to finish my first game. It's been four weeks since my last devlog. That's because I got kind of stuck. I wasn't sure what's happening, so I journaled about it, as I normally do. And I figured I need to reconnect with my original intention behind why I started learning game development. And I also want to give you the full context behind my design process. Because even though I would like it to go like this, it feels more like this sometimes. And that's okay, and I think we should talk more about it, because that's actually the norm for most people. So, the reason I started learning game development was to create games for my game-based education program for kids. In this video, I want to share with you two things. Show you what kind of education program I'm creating, and show you the progress on my first multiplayer game I will use in the program. I'm designing this program to help kids learn how to solve complex problems as a team. The program should work something like this. A group of one facilitator, that would be me, and 10 to 20 students meet on a Zoom call for an hour every week. The students split into breakout rooms in teams of 3 to 4 players, get access to the game, strategize and then start playing. They need to work as a team while competing with the other teams in real time. The games are short and after each gameplay there is a few minutes of reflection on what was the winning team's strategy, how and why did it work, how can teams improve their collaboration, and then they play again. My role as a facilitator is to help them resolve conflicts and reflect on how to improve going forward. I discovered this kind of experience through a project called Synthesis and it remains a major inspiration for me. So what I'm trying to highlight here is that the game I'm creating is meant to support this specific kind of group learning experience. That also means that my project is not just about the game development part. I also need to practice how to run this kind of learning session so I can better understand how the game should work. And that's what I've been trying to do over the last few weeks. Last Friday I organized my first learning session with 5 kids, 8 to 12, as playtesters. But because my own game isn't ready yet, I decided not to wait and used Minecraft instead. We played the survival mode as a team for 50 minutes and then took 10 minutes to reflect on what we've accomplished and how. During the play I mostly leaned into the background and watched them set goals and then work together to reach those goals. It was amazing to see that it only took them like 30 minutes to build a complex underground structure with a manufacturing hall, huge staircase and deep mining spots. I was blown away. We will meet every Friday now so we can experiment with different mini games and challenges, which will be great for my own learning as a facilitator and designer of games for this kind of program. Most schools don't put almost any attention on collaboration and solving complex problems, which is really mind-boggling to me, because being great collaborators and problem solvers is more important, in my opinion, than any single subject, and we need to create more opportunities for kids to practice these skills. Now let's look at what all this means for my game development process. Since the last prototype, where I edit Asteroids and Gravity, and was aiming more towards finishing simple game and publish it somewhere as a small learning project, I have now changed my focus on making a game I can use in this education program. This brings some new design requirements the game needs to fulfill. It needs to be designed to be played in a group of 8 to 20 players who connect and play in teams at the same time, easy to start playing because there won't be any tutorials. Control SM mechanics need to be obvious and discoverable by simply trying different things. Although under the simple mechanics the game needs to have enough depth to stay engaging on repeated plays. And lastly, different scenarios in the game should last 5 minutes to 30 minutes so the learning loop is very fast and teams can iterate quickly on their tactics and strategy. With this in mind, let's look at the progress I made on my game. I decided to roll back some features for now. Gravity and asteroids don't feel necessary at this point. I might add them back later, but now I want them out. I added more resources to the planet, so now when the ship lands on a planet, it can toggle one resource to mine it. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to use these resources yet, I will decide later, but this will be my main source of complexity, probably. 
I also moved the chosen pieces of code to a fresh new project and while I was at it, I switched to Godot 4 because it promises some new multiplayer features and it felt like a good moment to do this transition. And finally, I added basic multiplayer support. There is a lobby where you can join or host, so now two or more people can connect and play at the same time, and most things in the game are synchronized between them. Very cool. The multiplayer part is a big challenge for me. What I've done on the multiplayer functionality so far is pretty much one-to-one -one copied from Devlog Logan's tutorial on how to make a multiplayer game from scratch in Godot 4. It was very helpful, thank you for it, link is in the description. My single biggest priority is to get this prototype to a state that I can use it in my Friday sessions with kids as soon as possible. It's fine if it's crappy at first, and it will be. I just needed to work to the extent that I can start testing it with real people and iterate from there. Ultimately, I would like to make many games that enable this kind of rapid learning in groups and get them out into the world so other people can use them in their classes. Because I was looking and there are no games like this, or at least I haven't found any. Do you know about some? Let me know please, that would be amazing because I could start using them immediately. <laughs> That's it for this video, next time it's probably going to be more about the game development part again, but I wanted you to have the full context of what project I'm working on and why the game is going to the direction it's going. See you in the next one, bye.